Greetings from Jerusalem, it's Parsha Mishpatim. So let me ask you a question. We understand spiritually, intellectually, we know we went through something. And it was so hard. We went through the test. We were able to super we were able to get better by it. We saw how we grew in it and we go out there and we say, Okay, I'm gonna help other people because I went through the same thing too. But and this is the question. You say that, okay, I understand that that happened for a reason, but what happens when we ourselves go through something and we go through it again and again and again and again? So if we went through something, we pass a test and we can say, wow, I use it to help other people. We feel incredible. We feel great. People all the time, you hear about these organizations all over the world. It's were started by someone who went through that same thing. When we go through it again and again and again and again, what do we do to ourselves? We beat ourselves up about it. Ugh, I'm such, I can't believe I did that again. You get impatient. The same trigger over and over and over. You say to yourself, again I got impatient? Again this thing upset me? Again I feel depressed? Again I feel down? No, it's enough already. I can't believe I did this. We start beating ourselves up. We lack the compassion and empathy that we would have for somebody else going through the same thing. What happens? The Torah comes to tell us. You shall not mistreat a stranger, nor shall you oppress him, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Again, it comes and tells us in the same parsha. And you shall not oppress a stranger, for you know the feelings of the stranger, since you were strangers in the land of Egypt. All the time we're hearing, be compassionate, be empathetic, know how it feels to be in a rut, to be strange, to feel bad, to feel in a place where you don't belong, and have compassion for that person. But what about for ourselves? Also, a person has to comp have compassion for themselves. Sometimes you feel like a stranger in your body. So many times women come to me and they say to me, I don't feel like myself. I'm just not making it. I'm not happy like I usually am. I feel depressed. I feel down. This is not me. It's not me. They feel like a stranger within themselves. And this too, I tell them, have compassion. Have kindness. Be loving to yourself. Be forgiving to yourself. A little bit more in the parsha, talking about all these laws and what you can do, what you should not do. And it says, if you see the donkey of someone you, you hate crouching under its burden, would you refrain from helping them? You shall help him repeatedly with him. Again, we see an enemy, and we don't even like this person for different reasons that we're told we're not supposed to like them. They have this donkey that has a heavy burden, and the donkey is can't take it anymore. The donkey is falling. You have to help that person with them and pick up the donkey again and again. It says again and again. But wait a minute. What if this person, they should learn by now? Ten times you have the same burden. Ten times it keeps falling. Once again, who is the enemy? It's not just that other person. Sometimes the enemy is within ourselves. Sometimes we say to ourselves, I can't believe I did this again. Or this is just too much for me. How could I have taken on so much for me? I can't do this again. And I did it again and again. It's too much. The burden is too much. I shall help me. And yes, Hashem will help us. And He tells us, have compassion. Once again, even if it's ten times you fell, help yourself. Pick yourself up. Get help. Have them help you pick yourself up. But don't, don't give up. Sometimes we think in life that where we're supposed to get, I have to get there and that's the goal. No, the goal is the process. The goal is again picking yourself up and again picking yourself up. And that's why every single morning we wake up and we say, Modeyani. We say, thank you, Hashem, that I'm here. Wait a minute, I said that already yesterday. I have to thank Him again? Yes. Every day it's the same action. Again and again and again. Because every day we're new. Every day we relive. And every day we have an opportunity to pick ourselves up and to keep going. And all Hashem wants from us is to have compassion and love for ourselves, for, for, the, for somebody else. And yes, for ourselves. Have a beautiful Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom, Parsha Mishpatim, and Parsha Mimachim. It's going to be a beautiful new month of Adar. We should enter Adar with Simcha. And the Simcha of knowing that I can pick myself up. Hashem will help me to get up and up and up. And I shouldn't forgive. I shouldn't, I shouldn't give up on myself, just like I shouldn't give up on anybody else. Shabbat Shalom.